Okay, this is a real version of Portal Chess. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I noticed on the internet there is another variant of Portal Chess out there, and this is my response to that variant of chess. This is what I call the real version. Now, I've been working on this for years, um, but like any good variant of chess, it takes a long time to actually work out all the specifics. I've spent way too much time on this, but what I'm doing right now is demonstrating how the portals are used. Now, unlike the other ver variant of portal chess, I don't use polarized portals. These portals are all neutral, meaning either player interacts with the portal the same as any others. Now, I do have something also that's very distinct in that I use attack activated portals. So the action of the portals is determined by the action of the pieces, as you will note as I play throughout. Now, this is of course game is not meant to make it difficult to play every time you click on a piece it shows you the available moves you know the pink here this is a training program I don't actually have an official easy to play program uh, let me just get a real some portal moves. there's a portal move for you okay so that's the entering portal and then they have the exiting portal okay a player cannot attack a piece through a portal so for example there's a portal the knight can go through the portal, but cannot attack another piece on a portal. Now, of course, the knight has a direct move directly onto a, a piece that's on a portal, which is an interesting move. So we'll go ahead and undo that move and then show you the behavior. Because it's an attack-activated move, I, I can make a portal move. Now, the X should show up here, but there's a bug in my program, so it's not showing up. But anyways, I can then move to another portal. So not only did I take the piece, I moved through a portal, and I landed on another, another portal. Now, you'll notice right away there is what we would call a compound move, where more than one piece moves at the same time. Now, this is a characteristic of the game of Portal Chess. Um, it is what it is. Let me show you the here. The reason I have this notepad over here to the side is to demonstrate the fact that all the moves that I just made are copyable into a simple notepad, and they can also be pasted back in. So if I go new game here, now we'll change the view to fast so it gets to the end real quickly. Now I have the visual effects for visual effects, um, and we'll go ahead and just paste it in. So it's a new game. We're back to where we were. So we can go to undo undo. Now, the way I programmed it was I just simply went back through the rule list each time to validate each move was valid. Because if I did undo, did the rule, I just it was too complicated for me to think about. So, anyways, that's why you get the funky flashback, because I'm actually going through all the moves. Now, if you go the visual effects visual, you'll actually get to understand this a little better. Because you'll notice all the pieces are going back to the original position. I'm just trying to undo a single move. And how do I undo a single move? I actually replay all the moves that were made before that move was actually made. Don't ask me why I did it that way. That's the way it's programmed for this version. I am working on another version, but I just don't have time for it, uh, which is too bad for me. Or maybe too bad for everyone else. I have no idea. Anyways, um, that is a quick version of Portal Chess. Now, I did want to point out um, where you can find this to download. It's at portalchess.com. And hopefully, if I haven't destroyed it, um, okay, so now this is uh, Google Sites, but if you just go to portalchess.com, which I wrote it here, portalchess.com, um, you'll actually get to this website, and then down here is, is the download center right here. See what I'm talking about down here? This is the download center. Go to the download center, and I have several versions of the program. Uh, the Windows version is the one I was just demonstrating. Uh, there is a Mac version as well as a Len Linux version. Uh, go for it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Um, and I'm definitely interested in comments. Thanks. Bye.